these do not look directly at the sun, not even during a partial eclipse. If it's uh, you know, just a little bit of sunlight, it can still really damage your eyes and you can even go blind. Welcome to the LNI Carswell Observatory. I'm Dr. Elena Hyde. I'm the director of this wonderful place. And right now we are standing inside the 60 centimeter telescope dome, a place where you will definitely not be able to view the upcoming solar eclipse. So up here in the domes today, we have a few different ways that you could safely view the sun. So this is one of the most popular techniques. These are not sunglasses, so do not use regular sunglasses. You need to use glasses with a very special safety rated filter on them. And the first thing you want to do is just hold it up to the light and see there's no holes in these. If the sun was, say, uh, in front of me, I would put the glasses on and only once the glasses were actually on my face um, firmly. And now I can't see anything at all but I could feel where the sun is. So I'll look towards it. And this way, I can see the disk of the sun. I can't see anything else. They're almost like blackout glasses. You might say, what's an even easier way? Well, we're gonna go from the most sort of high tech to lowest tech. All you need are two sheets, and if they're not regular paper, they can be a little sturdier. This, this will work. What you do is you take a pin, you just poke a single clean hole, and all I have to do with it to make a projection of the sun is to use my top paper to project the sunlight down onto the bottom paper. Actually anything with a hole <laughs> that casts a shadow will work. Now there's a little bit more fancy techniques that you can use. A really easy one you can do is just by grabbing a shoebox. Now this shoebox already had a, a hole in it and this is the viewing hole. This is where you look inside with your eyeball. This is where the sunlight comes in. So you stand so the sun's behind you. The sunlight that's behind you comes and lands on the back of the shoebox and makes a little image of the sun. When you have a, an event like a solar eclipse, it can tend to override people's natural uh, safety inclination to not look directly at the sun. It can really damage your eyes and it can cause blindness. So we don't want people to be getting injured trying to enjoy this really cool event.